I just save you big time. Mm. Do you know what happens if you get stung oh. by a bee? Mm. Let knowledge click. Oh. Honeybees are social insects, which means that they live ah. together in large, well-organized family groups. Ah. Ah. When they feel threatened, or even their hive is invaded. Bees will sting the attacker to protect their hive and queen. First, the bee stick a stinger into the target skin. The stinger is like a tiny barbed needle that sticks firmly in the skin. Venom is gradually pumped through the stinger into the body, causing redness swelling and pain. When the bee stings, its stinger gets stuck and tears a part of its body, which causes its life. So, bees only sting when they really have to. So what should we do if we get stung by a bee? When the bee stings, its venomous stinger gets stuck in our skin. The first thing to do is to quickly remove the stinger. <laughs> Washing the sting thoroughly helps reduce the risk of venom spreading. After that, apply a cold compress to the sting to help reduce the pain. Wow! <laughs> if you get stung, it's best to find an adult right away for help. Ooh. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. <laughs>
That's it for today. Join with you as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. <coughs> Do you know why bats sleep this way? Let knowledge click! Why most animals go to sleep at night? Bats come out to find food. And during the day, they sleep instead. Bats usually sleep in groups, huddled together in dark, quiet spots. But why do they have to sleep upside down like that, Professor Hoot? It's because their back legs are quite weak, so they can't land on their feet like birds do. Also, bats can launch into the air from the ground, so sleeping this way lets them fly away instantly. This comes out handy in case of danger. Hanging up high also keeps them safe from other animals. And since they don't need to share perches with birds or other animals, they always have a spot to rest. But how can bats hang on so tightly without falling? Their muscles are designed so that the more oh. they relax, the tighter their claws hold on. <laughs> wow! What are we going to do with it now? If a bath is in your house, don't touch it. Just open a window and let it fly out safely. I got it! That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. are coming to life! No, no, they're just don't you! Oh! Who are they? Why are they dressed so funny? <laughs> These are early humans from the Stone Age! Oh. I'll tell you all! Let knowledge clear! The Stone Age was long ago, when people mm. lived completely with nature! If you lived oh. back then, everything would be so different. <laughs> oh. Back then, people wow. built homes with branches or lived in caves. So, do you know what they did when they were hungry? They cook yummy meals. They order food from their place. Wow. They had to find wire food uh -huh. and catch animals <laughs> oh, themselves. Dang. Hmm? They ordered food! No! Uh? This oh. is what they did! <laughs> oh. 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 Uh? Oh. Every day, they had to find their own food! Hunting animals, picking fruits! <laughs> And catching fish. Sometimes there were dangers too, like meeting wild animals. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 They use stones to make mm -hmm. axes, knives, spears, and other tools. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Discovering fire was an important step. Oh! <laughs> they use fire to cook food and keep warm. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh! oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh oh 
They wore animal skins and painted on cave walls mm. to tell stories, wow. even wow. without phones <laughs> or modern machines. They were very smart and creative wow. to survive. <laughs> we got it! That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. This is a Stegosaurus. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a Diplodocus. And do you know what it is? Huh? Hmm. We don't know. Why have we never seen one? Dinosaurs oh. went extinct 66 million years ago. Do you want to know what happened to them? <laughs> Let knowledge play! Long ago, Dinosaurs lived all over the earth. Some were big, some were small. They walked around, hunted, or ate plants in the world full of trees, volcanoes, and big oceans. But then, something terrible happened. A giant asteroid from space crashed into the earth. A big rock from space hit the earth make lots of dust that cover the sky. It caused earthquakes, giant waves, and volcanoes to erupt. Everything changed suddenly. With the sun blocked, plants couldn't grow. Without plants, the plant-eating dinosaur had no food. Then, the meat-eating dinosaurs didn't have food either, so they disappeared too. But not all of them disappeared. Scientists believe some small dinosaurs that survive change over time and become the birds you see today. So, birds are actually relatives of dinosaurs? You can say that. <laughs> That's it for today. Join with you as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. Ow.